Good morning coin jammers. Welcome to a different kind of noodle. We're going to show you what we've saved over the last three months just by putting our change in a jar um, to do our own noodle because some people say well they don't have a, a savings pot that they can go and noodle from. Well this is what you can do. It's kind of like forced savings in a way because we empty our, our purses if we ever go shopping and use money and put it into a jar. I know a lot of people don't use money these days but well there you go. So there's three months worth of, of uh, collecting there. So I'll pour that out and we're going to have a, a a look through and and see what kind of things we've got unfortunately as you can see we've got mostly mostly silvers in here so we're going to have a a quick look through probably looking uh for the purpose of this video more for um commemoratives than anything else uh particularly for the 20 cent pieces um and maybe if we get a 1988 there we go. So we're just going to have a quick look through and we're going to just quickly see whether we've got commemoratives, whether we've got um, anything different. Now for your 20 cent pieces, obviously you're looking for the three and a half claws, you're looking for a wavy, looking for any cuds, um, anything different basically. But no, he's got all of his claws. So he's uh, just going into the, into the normal pile. I am going to check against the years at a later stage to see whether there's anything um, that I need to complete my collection, but I don't think 20 cents I do anymore. So all claws there, nothing different. Beautiful, how about a 50 cent piece? There we go, we've got one of our Federation pieces and this is the uh, about two mil this one, but he's in very bad nick. He's also very dirty, so he can go just straight back in the, in the give back pile. But good to see something different already. Oh, here we go. No wavy, all claws in. A little spike at, at the um, at his beak is, is touching. Nothing there. So this is definitely one way you can uh, get your noodle on without uh, without having to stress about having a savings pot to to look at. He's in terrible condition. So again, when you're going through, you might think, oh my God, I haven't got that year, but things like this, or oh, just, unless it's a 1930s penny, look it up, of course, but I would just discard. So your 10 cents, not really that familiar with my 10 cents, but nothing special there. Oh, here we go. Melbourne Games one. Not in the best condition, but I'll have a look and compare him. So already we've got something interesting. Pick up a dollar coin there. Let's see what our mob of roos is doing today. So just a standard mob of roos. No cuds that I can see with my eyes. No double rimming. No rabbiting ears. So 2018. Have a look about fives. Oh, even your five cents get a look in and look how dirty this baby is. Ugh. <laughs> I guess that's one of the problems with noodling coins that you absolutely know have been round the round the houses. Is you're just gonna get some crap. Nothing there. Quick look there. But you never know. I mean, I guess it's, you just need one person to throw out something. Got some slight PMD there rather than anything interesting. Beautiful. Though the echidna always looks a little bit weird to me. He's been uh, knocked around in a serious fashion. that I can see there and a 50 cent <clears throat> excuse me it's too early in the morning to be doing this but when time is precious you have to just keep going 1983 not a bad condition 1983 but again nothing special 
So unfortunately, when you're in, in the mood to do one type of coin, this isn't the, isn't the way to do it. She's quite a sweet little one. I think I've got all my five cents anyway. Except for those two years. And a dirty. Let's move on. Let's find something interesting. Do comment if you see something that we don't. <clears throat> we do actually keep the coins for a little bit longer, just in case. Uh, because my eyesight is frankly, well, deteriorating. I'm a photographer, which um, doesn't bode well, but you can actually adjust the camera. So that's good. Unfortunately for this, you can't. Perhaps I should stop doing things which require my eyes quite so much. Oh, <laughs> yep. All right, come on. So I'm hoping for a pot of gold, but the only problem is, is we know what we've chucked in here to some degree. You know, we do obviously have a wee look. Um, oh, have we got... I okay. can't quite tell. Is that three and a half claws? I'm going to have to have a look closer look at that one. I think that's a possibility, but she's not in great nick. Um, I might get another one out and compare it. There we go. So there's a, a beautiful um, fiveies. And these aren't actually that rare to get the three and a half claws. Oh, no, when you see it in a different light, I don't think it is. Ugh. No, I think that possibly is. Guys, tell, comment, tell me what you think. Because frankly, I can't see. One, two, three, and a bit. One, two, three, four, five. I think she's a winner. That's a 1980. I love her elegant queen back then. I'll put that aside anyway. We'll have a, have a closer look. The volunteers one. I've been told, um, well, it's in public documents uh, that have come out that there should be a firefighter's coin coming out this year or, no, I think it's this year, if it does all get uh, approved and go through government approval. Can you count there? One, two, three. Ugh, I'll keep it aside for now. <laughs> this really isn't the best thing to do, is it, for blind people? Nothing there. All right, I'm bored of 20 cent pieces already. 20 cent pieces are not my thing. I wouldn't mind a wavy. I've never come across a wavy. And you would think, oh, well, I suppose it's because I don't actually noodle 20 cent pieces. So maybe if I started noodling them, I might get them. Oh, there's our World War um, coming home. There's about, uh, I think there's about 30 million of those. But I think they are a really special coin. Quite sweet. Frankly, anything that puts, uh, puts the kidlings in there pulls a heartstring, doesn't it? Nothing special there, 2006. No rotational errors. Here's a filthy one. So, oh, nice and clean. 2005. Ooh, what we got? 2000, oh, another 2005. I do love our echidna. Nothing unusual there. No rotational errors. 1992. Right, so no wavies. One, two, three. Oh, look, I'm losing the will to live. I can't have that many, can I? My cat is about to attack me. Leave it alone, Willow. Right, 
back from cat attack. So 50 cents, um, obviously looking for commemorators, looking for anything different, um, looking for any that might have come out of sets that um, weren't actually in circulated condition, like um, uh, say for instance, the 2005 um, 50 cent piece, which was only actually in the World Heritage PNC, which is awesome. So if you see one, someone might have released it into the wild and you might get lucky, very rare. To be honest, it's only 30,000 of them, but, you know, could happen. Could win the lotto too. So he's a nice, a nice um, Federation one, so we'll keep him. They're all about 2 million, some are a bit more rare than others. 2008. Nothing doing. Yuck. So these will... Uh, go back into our noodle pile at the end to make up for all the any coins that we've kept from from noodling which is handy I am a big fan of the echidna coat of arms all right I've got two legs and I've got everything that I can see there it's a 1969 that's a Really, not bad condition. 1969, when you consider how long this has been about. I mean, that's older than me. <clears throat> ah, Australian Tax Office. Don't we all love the Australian Tax Office? Absolute dream since that was created. 2010, so we'll keep that one. It's actually... Um, <laughs> Despite being the tax office, quite a popular coin, which, um, yeah, I have my own reasons for not really particularly thinking that's spectacular. Probably because I just keep having to pay them tax, but all for the good of the country. 2010. So what's everyone been up to lately? Anything interesting? I've been so boring. We've been really busy with other things, unfortunately, which means I haven't been doing any noodling. 1998. But, frankly, life has uh, pretty much just gone on to a 2016. A slide of work, eat, sleep. Not much fun going on at the moment. But that's fine too. This, this is fun. Oh, except for 10 and 20 cent pieces. Boring. Although, I mean, she is quite pretty. Um, some of the things you'll find in the 10 cent piece, the differences are, are the number of, of um, spines, I guess you can call them, along the, the live bird um, feathers there. Um, But nothing really different going on there. But uh, the different spines is only in, uh, I think it's the 1966 um, uh, coins because some were made here and some were made over in London. So there is actually a difference in the two of them. Obviously, you're looking for your low mintages, 2011s, 1985. And um, with all the baluha, um, your 2019s, obviously, with, um, <coughs> excuse me, things that are going on. I just don't know. IRB versus Jodie Clark um, figures, and that goes across all of the coins. What's going on there? Um, you're also looking for ones like, um, oh, excuse me, your 2005. 50 cent piece that was only made in the World Heritage PNC. You're also looking for things that might have only been made in the mint sets, like 86, 87, um, what is it, 95, is it 2019 now? I'll keep that. Um, and 96, they were only in mint sets, so someone might have opened the package, silly people, and, um, and got them out. Whoop. Any printing errors, double strikes, anything if it looks different, basically. So card errors, collar errors. Oh, 
happy there. My apologies, I don't know why I'm yawning. I think it's because I've only had, um, only had one coffee so far. I need more coffee. So again, that's a nice 1976 pack condition there. All right, let's pick it up the pace because I don't want to bore you to death. Uh, 2018. It's kind of weird that we are looking for, an, uh, I was going to say an echidna, a platypus to have all its fingers. It kind of seems a bit wrong in a way, doesn't it? 1999. Oh, I think my cat's going to attack me again. Seven meditationals. <laughs> Nothing significant. Two thousand and fourteen. And five oh, didn't do that right. Yep, yeah, you're all good. Okay. Oh, so either my eyes are going funny or that platypus doesn't have a hand. We're going to keep that one. I just looks a bit weak. It could just be him. D. Who knows? We'll keep it. But so for platypus, you're looking for your low mint. Oh, that's nicely done. What's that one? It's a 2016. I don't know why 2016 was so well done coins. And they just don't seem to damage as much. Um, yeah, you're looking for kind of low mintages of um, your 88s, 85s. Your Federation coins, which um, go from, say, I think it's 1.8 up to 3 million. But um, they're all quite, quite nice. So you need to keep an eye out for those. Obviously, in your 1966, you're after your wavy. Um, then you're after your three and a half claws and those must be in absolute ripper nick, frankly. And we're looking at those in the, oh, oh they're only in the 1981s. Oh, there you go. I don't know why I'm looking everywhere. We'll have to have a look at those other ones and see. But you will see some that uh, they're just not uh, minted the same. In 2008, you've got a missing, missing claws. You've got um, double claws in 2010. So you've got lots of things to look out for. It just really, really depends. So 2008 missing claws, that's a 2008. Uh, it looks like we're missing them, but to be honest, you've got to have such good eyes that <laughs> I don't know how people do it. Yeah. Hang on, let's have a look at the year for 2012. So there shouldn't be an error on, uh, or a, not a known error on this one. So have a quick look. No. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice and shiny. So 2019. So we'll keep that. Um, it's an IRB. And, oh, here we go. It's a family one. 1994. These all seem to be frosting up from the cold. I'm in Queensland, so it's not that cold, but even the coins are just not used to changes in temperature like this. So, oh, let's have a look at the year 1973. Uh, Nothing that we can see there. And she's dirty as dog's balls, so. It's 2001. Nine. Oh, we definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, got 2002. There's definitely something going on with those claws. They're just not as prominent. But again, these kinds of errors, they're not significant enough to really earn you much money. I mean, you could probably sell them as error coins if you find them. That's a lovely one. 
2019, keep IRB. Um, maybe if you found enough, you could make a, a wee little pocket money out of them. But you need to find significant areas for it to be worthwhile. Oh, we got a Choggum. Not in bad nick at all. 2011. And dirty old $2. Our Aboriginal Elder. Quite a lot of PMD there. Again, 2001. Slight, uh, not really sufficient. Much PMD there. There's a dollar coin. What's our Mubaroos doing? Nothing significant there. No. All right, back to your silvers. So that's your 2010. So apparently there's a, a double claw error on that one. Anyone know how many, I'm guessing five, <coughs> claws an echidna has? An echidna, I keep calling it echidna, platypus. So celebrate what's great. So there's our Australia Day coin, that's not in bad condition. That's all right, you've got lots of forensics on this coin. Fingerprints everywhere. Oh, look what I've spotted. We have a lovely, shiny, shiny albeit with lots of fingerprints. 2019 Jodie Clark, so we'll keep that one. Do 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 do. What's our library doing? A light, but do not much, not much. Do, 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 do. Just do dirty. Let's pick out some good stuff. Do, 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 do. Turn this around for you. So, International Year of Volunteers, like I said, hopefully, we should be seeing a new uh, volunteer coin coming out. Hopefully, a five hider. 2011. I like that coin. <clears throat> uh, old trusty. Everyone loves the Commonwealth Games coin. It's just awesome. With our beautiful queen. Oh, here we go. Here's um, our Millennium one. Now, this one is not incused, which means um, the flag needs to be pressed inwards. This is just um, the outline of the flag. So she's not the special arrow coin, but she's still pretty cool. There's way too many things to remember too. When you're noodling, sometimes I'd recommend you go over twice. We do. Probably because I've got no eyes and no memory. So I'm really not the best person to be doing this, but I enjoy it. So that's all there is to it. Now Liebird, 2014, not a low mintage year. Nothing special there, 2015. So as you can see, this can keep you busy for a little while. We could noodle it a bit quicker, frankly, if you are not wanting to see all of the coins. Just get rid, rid of some of the ones we don't need. Nope. Reasonably shiny. 2009. Oh, oh, oh. The fingerprints everywhere. Obviously, if we were dealing with rarer coins, we would, um, it's a 1997, we would <coughs> be using gloves, but these ones have been handled to such a degree that I really don't feel the need to dirty my gloves. So, just as is, I'm afraid. 
So if you haven't seen it, we've got a new um, series on the YouTube channel. My hubby has um, started, um, what's the go there? And we're having a look at Skippy and, and um, Tooth Fairy in first instance, because there's been some crazy, crazy pricing going on and crazy things going on there. <coughs> I can't believe um, I, well, frankly, was caught unawares with the um, with the Skippy her release. There didn't seem to be any advertising of that one at all, and it it just went nuts. We'll keep that twenty. And I love Skippy. Skippy the bush kangaroo. I grew up with Skippy, so um, I think Skippy's cool. And I missed out on PNC and I had to pay it over inflated price, which I was a little bit uh, gutted about, but there you go. That's what happens. I need to uh, get in there a little bit quicker next time. I'm just not sure how that managed to bundle past us. It's quite amazing. And the Skippy one was a Downies um, release. So I don't know if that's why it wasn't advertised as well. So we're looking for the three and a half claws in the 1981. I can see four. <laughs> At least I didn't say I can see eight. It's always a bonus. Oh, cat's got nuts. A lot of traffic out this morning on a small quiet road, but it seems to be on a Sunday morning, uh, very busy. Not sure why. Perhaps it's actually Monday and I'm should be getting ready for work. 1984. That's nice. So nothing of great interest in here, frankly. We've got a few commemoratives which are great. I'm just gonna have a quick flick through. Nothing too spare. Oh, here we go. I love this coin. There we go. I'll show you that one. Yo, Captain Cook. It's a bit of an awesome coin, that. It's in very good condition, too. Nothing awesome. I'm going to say that more often. Oh, there's another Federation one. Not bad, Nick. These ones you'll get a lot, the, um, uh, the Federation coins, but finding, like, Northern Territory in Noodles and Norfolk Island and that kind of thing is a little bit more difficult. Oh. <laughs> Different country, but never mind. We used to see a lot of New Zealand coins, um, I don't know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, coming through, but you just don't really see them anymore. So I wonder why that is. They seem to have taken them all out again. Someone's thought they were unusual. Anyway, that was our noodle of our, <coughs> excuse me, of our um, home noodle, just from all of the stuff that we have collected over the last last couple of months. So, not that interesting. I do prefer it when we uh, kind of get all of the same coin because then you can focus. But we did get some pretty good coins when you consider this is just out of the, uh, out, of the out of the, out of our purses. So something to consider. Get yourself a, a change jar and uh, enjoy. Happy noodling, guys, and uh, we will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, and join up because there's lots more coming. Bye. Thanks for listening.